Hey kids, it's Matt from Mashable. Welcome to another episode of Five Things We Learned from Reddit, a show that Entertainment Weekly calls, Who the hell are you? No, I won't review your YouTube videos. Get out of my office. Oh God, Jane, call security. We all know that history is written by the winners, but in 1999, a Russian writer set the record straight with an alternative account of one of the greatest wars of all time. I'm speaking, of course, about the war for Middle Earth. In this version, told from Sauron's perspective, Mordor is a peaceful nation that has embraced science and technology, but it comes under attack from the imperialist forces of Gandalf. If you like revisionist history and you think hobbit feet are disgusting, then this book is for you. But you don't have to take my word for it. Today I learned that if the global population of 6.9 billion people lived as densely as they do in New York City, you could fit everyone in a space the size of Texas. Which is great because Texas loves immigrants. These maps from the blog Per Square Mile show just how sparsely humanity occupies the Earth. Here's how much room we would need if everyone lived like Paris. And here's San Francisco. And if everyone lived like Houston, well, we're kind of be The lesson here is that there's plenty of room left on Earth for humanity, so keep it up, Duggar family. Does your baby live in a cramped industrial dystopia? Is she missing out on the fresh air and sunshine she deserves? Well, we've got the product for you. Introducing the baby cage. This real product, which is really a thing because it's 1930, turns your apartment window into a picnic in the park for your little bundle of joy, whom you would never put in harm's way. Purchase the baby cage, wherever DDT and asbestos are sold. Did you know that sand tiger shark fetuses will eat the fertilized eggs of their brothers and sisters in the womb? Often the first two pups to develop will devour the slower embryos. Which means even sharks should be terrified of sharks. Today we learned it's possible to play audio from printed images of old records. Researchers at Indiana University found images of a gramophone record pressed in 1889. They scanned it at a really high resolution, they brought the tiny grooves into their audio software, and they were able to reproduce the sound of a German poem. So we thought we'd apply this technology to another really old photograph. Holy Thank you guys for watching. Let us know what you want to see in future episodes. YouTuber Jack Chegu writes, I really felt like I was browsing Reddit. My only criticism, more cats. More cats. Well, Jack, this is for you.